Hey guys, this is Willie Vaughn with Cedar Cross Ministries. Willie Holy House Music Vaughn. God bless you guys. Jesus loves you. I'm out and about, to, you know, trying to shed some pounds, you know, diabetes, you know, high blood pressure, all that, cholesterol, whatever. You know, that's got to be flush. You know what I mean? And, you know, you can take the right medications as far as uh, herbals and things like that, but you still you have to exercise. You have to move. That vessel we have was made to move. You know what I'm saying? And those who receive Christ, that spirit, of the Holy Spirit in you, is a moving spirit. So that's why he said, go there for it. But he knows you can't do it in the human strength, but you can do it through Christ. You can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you. So surrender yourself. You know what I mean? If you're lazy, don't let your body just collapse you. Ooh, get, force that body up. Don't lay in the bed and, and, and all day. And I'm saying if you're sick or you want some rest, that's fine. But don't make it a habit because we're creatures of habit. We do things and consistently and then we become that. So God bless you. So put Jesus first. If you have received Christ, please do. And I hope you guys enjoyed the little scenery. I'm, I'm out and about, but I'm thinking about you guys. And love is action, right? I say I love you. So I want you to be happy. You know, get out, you guys. Enjoy the neighborhood, the town. You know what I mean? You know, if you're in that neighborhood that you don't, then go to another part of town. All right? I pray for you all. Pray for me. Jesus loves you. He said, seek me first, the kingdom of God, and all my righteousness, and everything shall be added unto you. He also said in Jeremiah chapter 8, putting the book, the Holy Bible, putting the law first, Jesus Christ, you know, we are saved by grace, so we're not held under the law. We're under grace. But he said, put me first. And he said, you will have great success and you will prosper. That's in Psalms 1, 1 through 3. Start studying the Word so you know what this life is about, what you need to do to get God's best. Right? And he said, then right after that, uh, we got Joshua 1, 8 and then 1, 9. He says, do not be discouraged. Do not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And we must believe that because he says, without faith, it's impossible to please God because he who comes to God must believe that he is, that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. You're saying, man, I'm not getting no rewards. Did you hear what he said? He said, those who diligently seek me. I'm not perfect. I'm just trying to do what God's saying. And it's supernatural. The Holy Spirit is doing all this through me. Thinking about you guys at a tree while I'm walking and trying to do my best. I'm not even thinking about me, really. I'm thinking about God first, then you guys, and then me. So it's joy. Jesus, others, then yourself. You know, J-O-Y. So if you can't get that, you can get it. By putting Jesus first and understanding it. And like he said, he's with you. Do not be discouraged. Even through this uh, coronavirus. Do not be discouraged or dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you. Wherever you go. But in order to, for him to be with you and in you, you must receive Jesus Christ. Get on your knees right now. Say, Jesus, take over my life. I want the best life. Jesus, be my Savior, my Lord. I know I'm a sinner. Please come into my heart. Forgive me for my sins. Be my Lord. Guide me. I am yours forever. I know that you died on the cross for my sins. And God raised you from the dead. I believe, Lord. I believe. I believe in you, Father. Thank you for your Son. In Jesus' name. And mean it from the heart. The prayer words don't save you. It's what the faith behind that prayer. That true, like, I believe. When I got saved, I was like, woo, yes. Thank you, Jesus. All right? God bless you guys. He loves you. Put him first. John chapter 3. Read it.
contradiction. I, I, I didn't see all this. You know what I mean? You know, I hear the seals and, you know, uh, I, I, it sounds like a walrus. <laughs> walrus or, or, you know, but through my addiction, I didn't see all this beauty. Some of you out there are in addiction. And you're in a cage. You're in a prison. You know what I mean? And that prison is Satan is the, the key holder right now. You know what I'm saying? But Jesus, Jesus has the keys over to ev over everything. So what you need to do right now is cry out to Jesus. Don't wait. Don't wait. Because the longer you wait, the deeper he delusionizes your mind. And you should really start believing. I believe my family hated me. I believe that I was no good. I believe that I had no potential. I believe that that was it. You know, and I was a Christian. And I was homeless, going from town to town, you know, falling asleep in the streets with police waking me up day and night. It was just like, oh, but I was stuck there. I was like, it was like a de delusion. It was a delusion. And I was stuck. And I didn't recognize that all I needed to do was surrender to Jesus wholeheartedly. I mean, he was sending people, ooh, like he's sending me right now to you. You have an addiction. Stop. The First, you need to admit it. I needed to admit that, you know what I mean? But it was that pride. So that pride is withholding a lot of you from from receiving God's best and receiving his son. So you have to understand we need a savior. And that savior is Jesus Christ. So all you have to do is cry out to him and say, you know what I mean, Lord Jesus, take over. Because, check this out, if you don't, he says, this is Jesus' word, not mine. He says, I came to give you life and I came to give it more abundantly, which means overflowing. He says, but the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. You see, you know where you're at. You know it's not of righteousness. It's not like good for you and your family. So why stay in a prison, a prison household? You know what I mean? Come out from beneath them, Jesus says. So how do you do that? Cry out. Take the steps. Even if you're a Christian, you think that's it. Oh, I received Christ. He He saved you. There's a cost, and that is to abide in me and I in you. For the branch can't abide in itself, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the true vine. Without me, you can do nothing. Some of you are just living life it's comfortable with immorality, to, to sitting against God, smoking, drinking, unsavory sex, and all that, whatever, and you know, abusing yourselves. And that vessel belongs to Jesus Christ. He's got to wake us up. He woke me up. Or he, four years in Chino State Prison. So, you know, and I lost my family. So don't lose yours. And don't go to prison. And come out of that prison by putting Jesus first. You guys are awesome. Keep it up. Jesus loves you.
all see. Through Christ Jesus. Let's go. What are you doing? What are you doing? Wait. Christ. Don't give up. Give me energy. 